I'm gonna be doing a set it's a marble and I actually I'm so stupid whatever um I put on the fake tips on the fake hand the well, on the practice hand and clipped on and with my drill I'm just taking off like the shine it has and I used like a, a higher setting cause it's plastic and it's like I don't know but I go over what is supposed to be the cuticle because, I don't know, to me, like, that bump just makes, I don't know, I don't, don't like the bump. So I just kind of fight a little bit. And I'm going to be doing this for the whole nail, the whole nails, the whole five nails. And my drill is from Melody Susie. I think it's the Scarlet, I think. I think that's what it's called. And I'm using um, a sanding band, but I'm not sure about the grit. I think it's a fine, but not too sure. And it's a zebra one, as you can see. Duh. Okay, so now taking a nail file, I think the grit is 100, 180 and I'm just kind of like roughing out the nail a little bit more so the glue can, get, can actually stick to the nail um, I'm sorry because I'm out of the view I was still getting used to like filming but I think I got it down now I'm just doing all these to all 10 so it's just like a better grit See, I got back on to the frame taking some alcohol on the pad I'm just like wiping it down to make it clear again using the Mew Secret Prep um, I'm gonna dehydrate twice I think I did it twice here but just on the tip so it dehydrates it and sticks the nail tip sticks better stick the nails on and I'm just clipping that little like thing off the corners and I used I try to use bigger size tips because these were c-shaped and the nails are pretty flat so they look like that but I just kind of snipped it off and I'm kind of just gonna make them a little bit then clip the sides a little bit You're gonna see me struggle.
straight edge clip um again the straight edge clipper i'm gonna just clip a little bit of the nail tip and then taking an 80 80 file i'm gonna shape the nails These files, I got them at Tulip. And I also apply them, they're really good. They're really sharp, so. Really nice. To be honest, I've had this video filmed for like a month and I'm barely doing the voiceover but look at my crazy nails and I'm just doing this 12 hour nails and I'm sorry I'm out of the frame I, it's cause like the nail like the nail practice hand when it pulls it pulls easily so I kept getting out of the frame and I'm just filing the free edge so it's straight Safety. I tried, I, I'm really bad at keeping my nail file straight, but I tried. But um, here I'm just gonna blend the, the nail tip and what is supposed to be the natural nail. Here I am using more, I'm using a higher speed than I would on someone, and I'm also taking like the shine off the nails the nail tips because I feel like the acrylic sticks better when I do that and it's really satisfying I'm fixing the line with my drill so it's straight and I'm doing that to most of, mostly to all of them I just feel like it gives it, it's like way faster than filing it off. And as you can see, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be doing this to all the nails, just redoing it. I don't know about you guys, but that thing, watching me like, watching or watching like other nail techs do this, and taking off the shine is really satisfying. But I am a nail tech in San Jose, California. But I do not take clients right now, I just do. Well, I'm not that big, but I just like to my friends now, or like my sisters, or my cousins, tell them Because I'm low-key scared to do other people's nails. Taking some alcohol again on the pad and just wiping the whole thing down. Honest, honest, these cut pads, those cut pads really suck. But I'm using Glamming Glitz for the marble, which is tinkle pink, and then using Wink Wink also, which is like uh, white with sprinkles, sprinkles, glitter, I'm sorry, and Mia Secret beige cover color, co cover color and then um that clear and i'm kind of just getting the um the pink and putting them in the, like towards the end and i'm putting the pink in the middle and then using the the white like around it kind of and um i'm using really thin tiny beads to cover like the nail tip out and I'm kind of just like putting it where I think I need it. The 
this was the first time doing me doing marble and it was not that bad the brush I was using was a 10 size brush to be honest it wasn't my favorite I found I finally found my favorite brush after buying like four different brushes but yeah and I'm just like switching between the pink and the white what helped me was use the tip of my brush very lightly and then pat it after I try to like swiggle it and do not make fun of my little low-key Devon dish it was the only glass like dish I had because my um, the, my my dish um, broke so yeah but I bought a new one right so yeah it's fine now I'm really really taking my time because I mean it's not someone so like I could really take my time on that Now that I have done the marble nails I wanted to, so I did the index, the middle finger, and then the pinky, um, I'm gonna get the cover beige by me, is great? And I'm gonna be doing the ombre, so I just take a medium size, low key on the smaller side, and I'm just putting it in the middle and flicking very lightly as I can. And then I'm gonna put a bead on top by the cuticle area. But I feel like I put I placed it too high. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go have to go back. As you can see, it didn't. It didn't really get there. It didn't really like what's it called get there. I'm done. Um, it didn't really spread, so I need a bigger bead, which I'm still learning how to pick up beads and stuff like that. This was a way much better bead, and I'm just blending it with the other bead I placed, the first bead I placed. just placing where I think I need it and I'm really well trying to do the ombre really flick it as light as I can and I'm gonna do this the same thing on the middle finger and the index finger just placing the bead in the middle and flicking it very lightly with the tip of my brush and I'm placing a bead where I need it because the three ball method doesn't I don't really work good with it so I just place beads where I need them. For the whole nail, this is a whole nail, one color, beige set. I place it towards the middle of the nail tip and then go from there and like move it down by doing padding motions, not really like flicking it too much. I only I only blend my beads when there's when I need to blend them together, like when they're on top of each other. That's the only time I blend like the beads. I usually just do the padding motion but here I am building um, the cuticle area and I needed I'm gonna be placing another bead right now what I do struggle is with like I feel like I make a, um, I make the 
application too thin from the free edge but I feel like I'm getting better at doing that and I'm doing the same thing to the thumb as you can see like I, you can see that it's too thin from the tip from the tip from the free edge so here I fix it Placing another bead on top, and then another bead on top of that bead, and making it thicker. Sorry. As you can see, I kind of like pat it first and then blend it down. Okay, so now taking my 8080 grit file, I'm just gonna shape, bring back my shape. And I'm trying, I'm really suck at um, keeping my file straight, which I'm still working on. I'm still trying to work on it at practice. But I just forget. And then I just get my free edge to make sure it's straight. And my application is pretty bumpy as you can see from the sides, but it is getting better. And I'm just shaping all the nails, and I'm out of the frame, I'm really sorry. After reshaping, I'm just gonna get, I think it's a fine or a coarse, I'm not sure, um, ceramic bit, and I'm just making it smooth, really, taking out the lumps and stuff. The bumps, lumps, bumps, it's the same thing. And I'm sorry that the video is pretty shaky. It looks pretty bad zoomed out, I'm not gonna lie. You. I'm just shaping and I'm still pretty getting used to like using my file so I'm pretty scared about it like getting close to cuticle and stuff like that so yeah and I'm just getting there but I am pretty I'm getting pretty good at the file at the filing at the drilling and I'm just doing this to the whole nails
using the e file um, to kind of like make the sides just like a straight line because that's how I like them to look. So I'm just like fixing up the sides and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna take the file and kind of just go under. So just to make sure that like, there's no pieces of it, like of it under. And I'm gonna be doing that to um, pieces of acrylic under, sorry. I'm gonna uh, do that to the rest of the house. Okay, so taking the sanding band I used before and I'm just going to buff out the surface of the nails for all of the five nails. Now taking alcohol on a pad or climb pad, I'm just gonna wipe the surface. The surface. Can't talk. Now taking the mat, I'm just gonna go over it. But um, I didn't show like the nails after. Um. Me, I didn't show it cured, but I did insert a picture then. But I'm just gonna like go over the nose and stuff with the matte top coat.
so here are the nails um, with the matte top coat but not cured so I feel like they low-key look better I don't know they look good both ways but here is a picture of the nails like cured and stuff and yeah so thanks for watching bye